Welcome! In this video we will look at a piece called Arabesque by Friedrich Buchmüller. Let me play this piece for you. Okay, here I skipped the repetitions. So we start with uh, the left hand, very soft, this chords. You know, stay close to the keys. And so on, and here fingering for me, five, three, one, and then five, two, one. Here again, five, two, one, five, three, one, and one, two. And here for the right hand, what is important is that we have a slur for this uh, five tone group and the last one is um, dot with the slur so so release the last note it's very important to uh, loosen up your hand while we, uh, when you have finished this group okay okay very important you can also uh, be very uh, flexible in your wrist and also push it a little bit to the side, okay? And also, of course, rhythmic exercises, so... And also short, long and uh, all these different uh, methods, okay? Let's try one more time, a little bit slower, so one, two... One, two. And here I change fingering, so three, two, three. Not with the same finger, because you can stack, you can get stuck with, uh, with your finger. So three, two, three, one, two. And then again, repetition. So uh, make sure to actually uh, Buchmüller writes uh, leggero, so very light. You know, you have to feel the keys, but you know, very light piano. And from here on, you start crescendo. And now, left hand plays this fast note. And also releasing the tension on the last note. Okay, so let's try this with both hands. And also what is important is when you start the piece, you have to play uh, such a tempo that you can also manage to play this one. Not that you slow down here in the middle part, because it's harder to play fast notes with your left hand. Okay, keep this in mind. And here also, actually, we start already in piano, so it's not like here that we built up the tension and, di um, and the dynamic also, but here we start uh, with forte. And keep in mind that when we release left hand on this, uh, so to show the last um, eight rest of this, of every measure, left hand plays legato, so we have this line. Okay, one last time with both hands, a little bit slower. Okay, and here poco written, uh, poco rallentando, so at the end. 
So let me play from a measure 70. Slowing down and then immediately when we uh, hit this A minor spot again, we are at a tempo, back to normal tempo. And here we have slight variation. And then uh, again, repetition of this middle part. So let me skip this and let me play one more time from measure 20 and then uh, to, uh, jump to the second volta. Piano. Okay, so here and also for the... Um, let, let's play the last six measures. So here we know this. Uh, crescendo. And then... So here when I play this, uh, this is measure 28, 9, 30, 31. First I position my left hand because it's closer, okay, from here to here. And then right hand comes just after that because it's easier to jump from, uh, from here already just with right hand than, uh, than from here but with both hands, okay. So keep in mind and I always uh, watch uh, my thumb for the left hand here to know where I'm aiming for, okay. So we have to practice this uh, jump specifically, just this one. And also this uh, last jump. Okay, and then the last chord is Sforzato and Fermata. Okay, so this was my tutorial slash lesson on a piece called Arabesque by Friedrich Buchmüller. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.